We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on the Miami Dolphins offense, and we're focusing on how Mike McDaniel created the best vertical passing offense of 2022. You look at the, you know, personnel on this team, you get Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle out on the field, and you understand why he decided to create this offense, because he changed it definitely coming from Shanahan's tree. You know, they went way more vertical than Shanahan would, and you would think when you see Tua as your quarterback, a lot of coaches would have come in here and wanted like a short, quick passing game, thinking that's what you have to do with Tua because of his arm strength. But people don't understand Tua is way more comfortable working vertically down the field. And when it comes to working vertically, you're throwing like 20 to 30 yards down the field in this offense. You don't need to have the strongest arm as long as you have a timing, anticipation, accuracy, which are all of, you know, to his best things, which are way more important in this offense because everything was about timing. It was all, you know, all down to a science, basically. His footwork in the backfield, as soon as he hits that back foot, let things go. It also did, he did a really good job of creating clean pockets out of play action, you know, using uh, different things, making things look like run, uh, freezing these rushers. But then you just have like two man concepts down the field. You have a slightly different variations. They would face a lot of zone coverage, especially a lot of quarters, cover six, and he knew exactly how to attack it. It was really fun to watch. Like, it was one of the most exciting offenses to watch in the NFL and everyone knew what their job to do Jalen Waddle, Tyreek Hill it was all about timing for them and he understood like with this vertical passing attack he made like a quick vertical passing attack everyone just got down the field free releases off the line got down the field as fast as they possibly could to their spots and then Tua was throwing the ball with timing anticipation all this room was being created whether it was by his concept Tua using his eyes to create space or just the receivers being very talented and creating natural separation Love this play that we're going to start out with here. It's a big, wide open play. They have the number two. They're going to motion number three across here. Alec Engold, work on this play action. Pull this guy across it. Pulls the linebackers down. Creates all this space deep down the field. You know, getting a 30-plus yard completion to Jalen Waddle. Um, I don't think Tyree Kill is on the field. This I think this is actually Cedric Wilson. That's the number two. But he's just running a clear-out route. They would do this a lot. Whoever the number two is, sometimes even the number one, would just be a clear-out guy creating space. If he did get open, you could throw it to him. But he was more of just, you know, get out there, waste no time in your route stem. You have the play action working to create this clean pocket. You know, the motion the guard across. Everything to it hits his back foot, and the ball's starting to be thrown. So he's clearing out. He's just breaking over the middle on like a dig, and he's just sitting this down in the wide open zone. Good job by Waddle and Tua just being on the same page. That's another huge part of this offense. You know, everyone having great chemistry, and you could just see how it affected these defenses. They tried going, like they were so scared of getting beat deep. They would go to quarters. They're running cover six here. They're running quarters to the bottom of the screen and uh, cover two to the top. And they just, this is exactly how you attack this defense. You know, having you know one guy create the space on the clear out, clear out to safety. Have this push this guy vertical like you're going to do this, and then you know either run the dig behind it, another deep post behind it. As long as you take out the number two safety, you're gonna create space. The play action suck down the linebackers, and then you can have you know some guys going out into the like the flats. You know you have multiple checkdown options, but it's really a two man route concept read, and then get down to your checkdown and to a getting the ball out quickly. Even though you know things weren't even like the pulling guard in the backfield didn't even get like a clean block. Eichenberg pretty much. Uh, gets beat around the corner but two is hitting this back so quickly and he's throwing with anticipation the ball's coming out very quickly for a vertical passing offense all they do is you know get to the routes quickly they that play action slows down those pass rushers just enough to have everything working very fluidly and they use these two-man concepts all the time uh, that play was one of their bread and butters and they would make slightly ver different variations of it another two-man deep concept down the field attacking this vertically they get Tyreek Hill in motion they actually get man here this was the first game of the season and I think once teams saw this they decided not to go man-to-man -man versus the Dolphins for a while they did really not face much man-to-man -man for weeks on end especially on these motion two-man concepts you get the play action going creates a clean pocket and it basically this motion creates like a switch release here uh all the space and now they're like based in way off man coverage and with Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle's speed, you have Jalen Waddle, you know, threatening this guy right here. Uh, a lot of the times it would break their concepts to the inside, but here now they have him breaking on a deep comeback route, even Waddle breaking on the deep out away from the, you know, middle of the field safety. They don't want to work towards him and it's all about timing and anticipation. Tua is letting this ball go. He's ready, releasing it as Tyreek Hill is about to break and he gets all that space created. Uh, naturally, McDaniel doing his work with the motion, knowing how to use his personnel, getting the right coverage look, and then Tyreek Hill uh, and Tua just doing the rest. Great blocking up front with the clean puck created out of the play action. That was just uh, absolutely money for them all season long.
Dolphins had a very quick vertical passing offense as well. Like the ball is coming out quickly. Like he's jet motioning across. And with Moser, you know, working in front of him at a play action and shotgun, he can still read down the field. That's what I love about this sort of play right here. He's still reading down the field out of the play action. He doesn't have to turn his back to the defense here. But it allows, you know, Waddle and Tyreek Hill work down the field, uh, attack this cover three. They, they're they showing, you know, this too high look pre-snap. Like they're going to run either quarters or cover two. And they rotate down into a cover three. He's reading this. He sees this safety drop down over here. He's holding him with his eyes. He knows this guy's going to go deep middle of the field. He's going to have this open. And he just moves this safety just enough, or this linebacker just enough to open up this quick throw to Waddle. Even though that's so far down the field. It was a very quick get the ball out. He's sort of holding these pass rushers with the play action here, holding that mesh point, and the ball still attacking vertically down the field to gain 25 yards, you know, when the ball was probably into his hands for about two seconds. it's That's what made this offense so special, it was being able to attack vertically down the field very, very quickly. This is a fun design here from Mike McDaniel, getting Tyreek Hill tight, you know, basically like where an off-ball tight end would be. They do the play action behind the back, uh, get this going. Tua gets this clean pocket. Then they're attacking cover three, and this deep third corner so threatening, uh, threatened on this you know flag route right here by Tyree Kill. And then this flat defender isn't able to gain enough depth just because this guy is going out into the flat here. He still has to you know leverage both of these routes, and Tyree Kill's working so deep down the field. And while everyone's expecting you know they were doing a bunch of in breakers, everyone says they can only throw. Uh, to the middle of the field if two is throwing with timing anticipation he can still get the ball outside the numbers he's not as efficient there but it's still able to be done you got to at least be able to show this they would motion here across they're almost like running this rpo that they did i mean the similar concept to the rpo to this side of the field with you know the rail route but he's running a deep dig waddle over the middle of the field but his first option first read to tyreek hill ends up becoming wide open just because, you know, the pre-snap alignment, having someone, you know, take the flat defender out of the way. And when you have that kind of speed, like, look how quickly he's able to get down the field and gain, you know, 24 yards, I think, on this play. This is him really attacking vertically on this play. Two-man concept down the field, just deep over from Waddle with the deep post behind it. Classic move. Love working this type of concept. Like, this is, like, the things you really expected to see right away from the Dolphins offense like as soon as you see Waddle and Hill on the field together this is what you want to see uh they're in cover three play action again Tua gets a uh would have got a clean pocket but Hutchinson kind of gets one-on-one -on -one with Ingold here and he has to work around so the ball is coming out a little bit late because Tua gets pressured but it does his job the route concepts Waddle pulls the safety he has to overcommit because it's Jalen Waddle and then Tyreek Hill coming in behind it and you just got to chuck it up sometimes uh you know, deep down the field, Hill goes up and gets it. Play even broken down. Those plays can still work out for this offense. Dolphins actually get man-to-man -man on this play, attacking vertically down the field. This is actually a play straight out of Shanahan's playbook. Like, they definitely, like, a complicated name for, like, this jet flag water. Uh, there was no jet motion on this play, but there's, like, flag water concept. Number three, working, can either work the fade the, or the flag, depending on the coverage that he's getting. But he gets man-to-man -man here. They barely would get this. And he took this one-on-one -on -one opportunity. He sees Hill getting bracketed here. So he gets a one-on-one -on -one shot to the outside. Two hit the back fit. Anticipation, timing, doesn't allow the other safety to get over the top. Great, great play. Great design. This is why teams could not go man-to-man. -man. Like, yes, Mike McDaniel was picking apart zones all, def or all year long. All the defense is running zone. Because that's all they were facing. But when they got man-to-man, -man, they absolutely destroyed it. It was like with their receivers, like there was nothing defenses could do. Lions running a lot of cover three in this game. Another, you know, concept down the field, Tyreek Hill just going down, sitting on a deep curl route. you having Waddle on the opposite side of the field. They're not running same side concept. Bunch of different concept looks. They're running play action. Tua can read everything in front of him, and then it's sliding out to the left. They have Tua sliding to the left to create this throwing lane. They know the deep safety is going to be way over the top. Everyone's threatened by Tyreek Hill's speed. They have him move where this takes the linebacker slightly out of the throwing lane, and he's, you know, too far up as well. They got to gain more depth, and it just timing anticipation, get the ball to Tyreek Hill you know, on a deep curl route, deep vertical passing offense. It was just so much space created from everyone doing their job over and over and over again. Like, they were able to run a lot of the same things and still be successful just because of how talented they were and how uh, smart McDaniel was at mixing things up. 
like this design, getting a horizontal stretch by working that orbit, orbit motion behind Tua, and then you just get a quick vertical stretch behind it. Even, you know, with Tua just straight out of shotgun here, and he's not, like, doing anything too crazy. He's got the quick play action, and it's just a one step and go. And look at Tua here. I really wanted to show this play for Tua because this is one of my favorite Tua's, Tua plays because look how he resets his feet, his eyes, just to move these defenders out of the way, get this guy to sink down to the flat, move this linebacker just enough to the outside. He's looking like he's going to throw it right here. That's why this linebacker is still floating to the outside. He's almost throwing like a no look here and then throws behind this with anticipation. And even though this is a quick, you know, slant glance route, this is still attacking vertically down the field. The ball is getting out, you know, he's catching it about, you know, 15 yards plus down the field. That's, you know, can be counted as a vertical attack and then picking up, you know, 26 plus yards all because of a nice little play design just to get a little bit of a horizontal stretch and then it plays off to a strengths and Jalen Waddle to attack behind this against you know this defense right here cover three but the middle of the field safety is leaning to uh that Tyree Kill side of the field so it just creates all this space for Jalen Waddle to work really excellent stuff uh having you know those offensive pieces and then good design and one of my favorite two plays of the whole year even though it doesn't seem like anything too crazy just the way he's able to manipulate with his eyes is so so special I mean, this is just Tyree Kill versus cover three at the bottom of the screen. There's always expecting, you know, he even has helped the inside with the deep middle of the field safety. Everything's closed. And this guy's still playing with some outside leverage. But I think he's really expecting, you know, with how the Dolphins are at this point of the season. People are always saying everything's, you know, an inbreaker. That's just wasn't always the case. But here, Tyree Kill just absolutely destroying his guy, able to sink his hips. That's absolutely special. Tua throwing this ball right on the break. Great timing. Another two man concept down the field, just mixing things up with the calls allowing Tyree Kill to work two of the space there, you know, having multiple options, working inside, outside, breaking down on it, working, you know, just deep the whole time. Uh, it's very hard to stop Tyree Kill when you think he has four options to do on a single play. Last play that I'm going to break down, versus the 49ers, they get a quarters look. He understands that. you. A lot of times you have your number one on the outside running a post behind the quarters. All you got to do is have number two, number three, someone threaten the safety to that side of the field to bring him down, make him crash. So two is just reading. They're an empty here. He, he's just reading Hufanga. And once Sherfield breaks over the middle of the field, as soon as he sees, like, look at Tua. He's already about to throw this ball. Tyreek Kill is not broken to the inside of the field. Hufanga is just starting to break. So he is reading this, just reading the leverage of that safety. He knows from, you know, film study that he likes to break on this. So this was, you know, planned from the start clearly uh, on McDaniel and Tua's ends to throw this uh, from film sp study. He's already getting ready to throw this. Funga is just starting to break. This is amazing anticipation and timing from Tua, but great play design to set this up versus the quarters. Always throwing that deep post behind that safety, and it creates a one-on-one -on -one matchup, usually with a corner with outside leverage, and if you get that with Tyreek Hill or Jalen Waddle, you're going to take that every single time. It's just with this, with these weapons, with Tua at quarterback, uh, throwing with the timing, anticipation, the accuracy, with McDaniel making up play calls, you know, maximize their skill sets. Uh, and you have some pretty solid weapons coming in, uh, you know, behind them now that can, you know, still be effective in this offense. You know, whether it's like Chosen, Braxton Berrios, uh, you know, still like Craycraft understands the offense as well. You have Cedric Wilson if he's still on the team. I think Azukanwa is going to make more of an impact this year, getting him involved, and he can be a deep vertical stretcher, but also a great yards after catch option. I just expect him to, you know, make some variations to this offense. It's going to be exciting to watch. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Bang.